From Belle's sinister manipulation of Sam to Pearl's deceptive character, it is time to uncover the chilling truth behind the Goldarm Gang, because their secrets go very deep into not only Brawl Stars lore, but real life folklore. Belle's star was a notorious American outlaw who lived during the late 19th century and was famously known as the Bandit Queen of the Old West. The Old West was clearly an inspiration for the Wild West theme within Brawl Stars. She was associated with various criminal activities, including horse theft, bootlegging, and robbery. She became a legendary figure in American folklore. In Brawl Stars, we know Belle to fill that similar role. The outlaw, the evil mastermind plotting behind the scenes, her every move shrouded in mystery and deception. With a sharp intellect and a cunning demeanor, Belle embodies the essence of her real-life counterpart, Belle Star. When it comes to Sam, there is a striking parallel. He was Belle's trusted partner, mirroring the loyalty and dedication of Sam Star, a notorious outlaw of the late 19th century. Sam Star, like Belle Star, was involved in various criminal activities, including horse theft and other unlawful dealings. Known for his association with the infamous Star family gang, Sam played a significant role in the Wild West's criminal landscape. In Brawl Stars, Sam embodies the archetype of the loyal outlaw, faithfully serving alongside Bell in their schemes and plots. His commitment and loyalty to Bell is clear within Brawl Stars as well, echoing lines such as This one's for Bell," showing that he dedicates some of his actions to his trusted partner, or so he believes. And lastly, we have Pearl, the third and final member concluding the Gold Arm Gang. While Bell and Sam draw clear inspiration from real-life outlaws, the origins of Pearl's character remain more mysterious. In folklore, Pearl's star was known to lead a considerably less criminal life compared to Belle and Sam's star. This could be why we see a rather noticeable separation between Belle and Sam from Pearl. She seems to be almost the exact opposite of a character compared to them. She is kind-hearted and innocent, whereas Belle and Sam are portrayed as cunning and ruthless. However, it's interesting to note that there was indeed a historical figure named Pearl Star, who was the daughter of Bell Star, but not Sam Star, which I found quite interesting. Why was Pearl a robot and not a human like her real life counterpart? I feel it's because Sam is not her real father, so to differentiate it from the actual real life folklore, they made her a robot, making it impossible for her to be their biological daughter. This would then imply that she's not Belle's biological daughter either because, well, it's just not possible. Even though the real life Belle Star has a daughter named Pearl Star, within Brawl Stars, it's a little different. However, one question I still have is why conclude a full human outlaw brawler trio by deliberately adding a brawler that is basically the exact opposite in every sense of the word? It's almost as if it was intentional. In my opinion, Pearl as a brawler seems very unusual. Like I had previously mentioned, why would they make the final brawler in the trio something that feels so out of place? You have two formidable outlaws and then a brawler that bakes cookies? That is why I actually think she's a mastermind in on Belle and Sam's schemes, all while pretending to be a harmless cookie making brawler in Brawl Stars. Despite her innocent appearance, Pearl is incredibly smart and deceptive. As per her brawler description, she quote unquote found her way into Belle and Sam's heart and hearts, which I don't believe to be entirely true. She managed to win Belle and Sam, as per her brawler description, not by heart, but by showing how intelligent she is, and by sharing their desire to be outlaws. Unlike other robots, Pearl wanted to be part of their criminal world. That is why Sam doesn't hold a grudge against her, he sees her as one of them. But in reality, Pearl is much more than she seems, pulling the strings behind the scenes and adding a whole new level of mystery to the Gold Arm Gang. This begs the question, why does Sam hate robots? Throughout countless animations and posts we've seen his hostility towards them, and we've never gotten the answer as to why. As I just mentioned, I believe Sam has accepted Pearl into their gang because she has aligned values and ideas with them. As for the other robots in the Robot Factory, well, that's a different story. I have two main perspectives on why Sam has a strong hatred for robots. Firstly, Sam's resentment towards robots in Brawl Stars could stem from his backstory and characterization as an outlaw with ties to the Old West theme. 
in many Western narratives, particularly those set in the late 19th century, technology and progress are often depicted as threats to the traditional way of life, cherished by characters like Sam. Robots being a major facet of modern technology might symbolize this threat in Brawl Stars lore. Additionally, Sam's role as an outlaw may also lead him to view robots as tools of authority or control, which conflicts with his rebellious nature. Another reason could be that he had negative personal experiences with robots in the past. Perhaps he encountered a malfunctioning robot that caused harm to him or someone he cared about, leading to a deep-seated fear or resentment towards them. This trauma could fuel his anger towards robots in general, causing him to view them with suspicion and hostility regardless of their intentions. Additionally, Sam's strong sense of loyalty to his gang and distrust of outsiders may further contribute to his disdain for robots, seeing them as foreign entities that threaten the cohesion and security of his group. Technically speaking, this could complicate the previous theory of Sam accepting Pearl into his group because, believe it or not, she is also a robot. However, it's important to consider that individuals can hold complex and contradictory feelings towards certain groups or individuals. While Sam may harbor a general disdain for robots due to past traumas or experiences, he might still be capable of forming exceptions for individuals who prove themselves trustworthy or align with his values, like Pearl. This suggests that Sam's feelings towards robots may not be entirely black and white, but rather nuanced and influenced by various factors, as I mentioned earlier, personal experiences and also relationships. It's clear that Belle, Sam, and now Pearl are all outlaws with the sole intent of defying authority. However, not too long ago, Belle's brawler description was updated and in a big way. Before I restate her description, I want to mention that I believe both are valid in her character lore. The original description stated that she inspired adoration in her gang and the new one states that she is trying to uncover the truth behind Star Park. This is a major revelation since it drastically changes who Belle is as a character, or maybe it doesn't. What if Belle was always trying to uncover the truth behind Star Park, just doing so in secret? Since Belle's character is confirmed to be an outlaw, it means that she is definitely not a hero. An anti-hero maybe, but not a hero. This means she could have been hired to investigate on behalf of someone or something else. Do we know any such organization dedicated to that same mission? That's right, Spewed. What if Bell was indeed working for the Spewed organization and motivated by financial gain? Her involvement in uncovering the truth behind Star Park could be driven by the promise of a substantial reward, perhaps a hefty sum of money or some other valuable incentive. This would align with her character as a cunning and opportunistic villain, willing to go to great lengths for personal gain. This would mean leveraging any and all means at her disposal to attain it, including Sam. As we know, Sam worked in the robot factory, as stated in his brawler description, which means he would have access and authorization to the facility. If we examine the robot factory shown in environment, at the top of it, we can spot a sign that definitely alludes to Star Park, suggesting that the entrance may lead to it. If Bell was hired by Spew to infiltrate it, and she has Sam at her disposal, what if she is using him as a weapon of infiltration, knowing full well his direct ties to Star Park? Her old description states she inspires adoration in the gang. Adoration means a deep love and respect, and it seems she's invoking that same feeling within Sam himself. He believes the relationship is genuine, whereas she might just be manipulating him. I believe Belle has manipulated Sam with false feelings of love and devotion, to use him as a method of infiltration inside Star Park to figure out what is really going on. This would be a huge claim seeing as though the relationship has been a pillar in the Brawl Stars relationship lore. If this is indeed the case, then we can assume or speculate that there might be other relationships currently in Brawl Stars that are not as genuine as they seem. As we know from Belle's character, she is a master strategist, an individual that will go to extreme lengths to follow through with her mission. So what if she was just using Sam and Pearl as ploys in her plan? This wouldn't be far from Belle's character. Since she is an outlaw, being hired for undercover practices would be right up her alley. As the leader of the gang, not letting anything get to her would be second nature. Just doing her job, whatever it takes. But hey, that's just a theory. Uh, 
you know the rest. Seriously, Michael, that's how you're going to end it? Let me show you how this is done. But hey, that's just a theory. A brawl theory. Thanks for watching.